Okay, guys, I think we'll go ahead and get started. I want to allow enough time today to, uh, for you to do today's activity. And um, I'm going to try to share my screen. I'm again on my iPad today, so we'll see how this uh, works out. Uh, but before we get started, I want to remind everyone that uh, for attendance, make sure that you're going into the virtual classroom during our normal class period. Okay, so we meet live online every day from one to two. So make sure that you at least sign in. Um, doesn't matter how long, but just make sure that you sign in between one o'clock and two o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday in order to get credit for attendance. Okay, sometimes some days we'll be working in the virtual classroom, other days we will not. Today we are going to be working in the virtual classroom. So obviously, if you go in and you participate today, you'll be counted as abs or present. Um, but make sure that those days where we work outside of the virtual classroom, like if we work in a shared Word online document, that you go in briefly into the virtual classroom and you can do it however you want. But for me, what I would do is every day before you get into today's session, just sign in very briefly into the virtual classroom so that you're counted as present. Uh, make sure that um, you take that into consideration. At the end of the semester, I will go back and count how many days that you didn't sign in. Um, Paulina, sorry, could you mute your mic, please? Uh, of course, you guys can unmute your mic at any time if you need to say something, but just so that we don't have a lot of background noise uh, from uh, that's being picked up by our microphone. But again, obviously, jump in at any time. Um, but yeah, the attendance, I will count at the end of the semester. I will go through the classroom, the virtual classroom and count the number of absences or the number of times that you did not sign in to the virtual classroom. Uh, for this semester, I'm only going to count the times that you missed while we've been working online. Okay, so uh, remember that we have up to 16 absences that are allowed uh, without having to take the extraordinary exam. So if you don't have more than 16 absences, then you, you're fine as far as uh, attendance is concerned. All right, so uh, just a reminder, you know, many times I'll bring it up, I'll mention it in the online session sessions here that we've been having, but some days I don't mention it, but it applies to every single day, Monday through Friday, that we have class. If you miss a, a live session, I'm not counting it as an absence. Okay, so if you miss a live class, I'm not counting it as an absence. Of course, I want everyone to hear every day in the live session. Hopefully these live sessions help you in doing the activities, right? Because a lot of the activities require explanation. You can ask questions during the live session. But as far as attendance goes, I'm not requiring these live sessions as far as attendance goes, but I am requiring that you at least sign in uh, to the virtual classroom at least once, even if it's very briefly, even if you don't end up doing any activities, make sure that you sign in between one o'clock and two o'clock for Prope B. For those of you who are watching this recording in Prope A, it's the same same rules, except you would need to sign in between nine o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday. Okay, so again, just a quick reminder of the attendance. It's a little bit different now that we're having class online, and uh, I just wanted to make it clear the difference between the live sessions and going into the virtual classroom, All right? Okay, so today what I'd like to do guys, hopefully all of you have had a chance to conduct two interviews. If in the event you only had a chance to have one interview, I'll ask that you finish the second interview and, and uh, complete today's activity before our next class tomorrow. Today what we're going to do is we're going to include our responses and I'm going to share my screen here. And okay, hopefully you can see my screen. If not, jump in. Let me know if you're not able to see my screen. If you go to our 
class in virtual in the virtual classroom if we go to week 13 under activities you'll notice that there is a new uh, individual wiki okay so we've been working with wikis from last week if we go to week 12 you'll notice right that you started a wiki called interview guide fact versus opinion since we're continuing this activity into week 13 we're going to take this information that you've been developing both in the wiki from last week and the shared word online document that we worked on earlier this week and we're going to bring that same information into week 13 into now this wiki right so again you can copy and paste if you made changes yesterday uh, to the questions that you asked even if you made last minute changes before you asked or conducted your interview these are the questions the final questions that you actually uh, asked these are the questions that i would like for you to include in this wiki again we're in week 13 it's called second interview results and when you go in for the first time just like last time all you have to do is hit create page don't change any of the settings leave everything as default and click create page and when you go to create page it should take you to the edit feature okay the edit tab remember that a wiki has an edit tab and it has a view tab so when you go into the the um, the edit tab this will allow you obviously to edit your wiki so if you'll notice here in this example i'm going to go back to the view because i think it's a little easier to read Take another look at the instructions. This is what I'm explaining here today. But notice that how, I've, how I have my information organized. I start with interviewee number one, so you can put the person's name, or you can put the relationship or the relation it, the person is to you. So your father, your mother, your sister, brother, and state or list the questions the direct questions that you included in your interview these aren't the questions that you planned necessarily these are the actual questions that you asked your uh, your interviewee so here we want to list in order the questions that you asked so here we're going to create direct questions all right so direct questions you can either state it as I ask, comma, quote, or you can just put the question, right? Um, and the direct question is going to be to the a direct question is going to begin with a question word. And it's going to be followed by an auxiliary subject and then main verb. I'll I'll explain that a little bit more here in a second. But here we have the direct question, and then you're going to have your response underneath each question. What I would do is I would start by just listing all the questions that you asked. Anywhere from 10 to 20 questions should have been included in your interview. So list all the questions first and number them, one through 10 or one through 12, however many questions you have. And then what I would do is I would copy and paste the same questions to the second interview since you should have asked exactly the same questions to both individuals then you can list and copy and paste both questions for both both individuals and then underneath each question of course you're going to only include the responses that relate to the person's re, uh, response whatever the person said i have listed here an example of a direct response so here you can say mom stated comma quote now you put word for word what what your mother said if you did the interview in Spanish, just convert it and translate it to, to English. If the interviewee made a mistake, he or she was speaking in English, but it made a mistake, you can correct the mistake by using uh, a bracket and inserting the correct, the correction, whether it's a, a different word or you know, whatever the correction needs to be, you can correct it by using brackets and inserting the correct response okay so mm -hmm. in both cases we should have an example of a direct question and a direct response or a direct speech 
all right, for this outline, okay, and writing out basically what, uh, what our interviewees, how they responded. When you finish, in fact, I would say before you finish, make sure that you're constantly saving, right? So remember when you're in the edit mode, you have a save button at the bottom. It does not save automatically. So make sure that every few minutes you're going down and saving, going back to edit and continuing, just so that in case you lose a connection, you don't lose the information or you, you don't lose the text. Okay, so today I want to give you the rest of today to begin working in your individual wiki. And if anyone wants me to uh, look at your questions or has questions about the direct questions or direct responses, of course you can, you can ask about it. One final thing I'll say, let me go back to our... Okay, were you guys able to see my screen or not? Just, just then. Hopefully you were. No, this just that. Uh, okay, you didn't no, see I'm, my I'm screen. Not. No, but. No. Let me try it again. Okay, how about now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. If I'm sharing my screen and, and you can't see it, just interrupt me. Stop. Say, hey, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. I can't see anything. I don't see your screen. Okay. So, again, just very, brief, very briefly here, we have week 13. This is the wiki that I was just talking about. Okay. So, again, you can move. Any information that you had from the Word document that we worked on yesterday or last week, from last week's wiki, just bring that information over. And make sure that the first time that you go into the wiki, just hit create page, okay? Don't make any changes to the wiki. And this is what uh, I was talking about. This is what, this is how I would like for you to list the interviewees, the questions and the responses, kind of like an outline. Okay, so I provided an example uh, under the instructions for today's activity. And this is how I would like for you to list the questions and the responses. Okay, just remember to save often as you're editing your wiki. All right, and let's go back to the group here. Okay, now in the chat, I'm gonna provide an example of a direct question just as a review in terms of the grammar. Remember that a direct question begins with a question word. So I'm gonna put here formula. This is how I tend to think of a direct question. Question word plus auxiliary verb plus Subject plus lexical or main verb. All right, so if you're looking in, your, in the chat, I've listed the formula. Now here's an example. Okay, here's my example. How have you adapted professionally to COVID-19? Notice the how is the question word. Have is the auxiliary verb. You is a personal pronoun or subject pronoun. It could also be a noun. It could be a proper noun, a personal. Uh, it could be a pos uh, uh, yeah, personal noun or just a common noun, right? but it's gonna be functioning as the subject. And then you have, in this case, adapted is the main verb or the lexical verb. So notice the word order. Have you ever adapt, how have you adapted, sorry, professionally to COVID-19? Notice that I have a question mark, which is also indicative of a direct question. <clears throat> we need a question mark at the end, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Okay, so this is uh, just a reminder of how to organize a direct question. We need to have all of our questions in the form of a direct question for today's activity. And also the responses, the response again. You can say something like, mom stated, quote, word for word, okay. Now, I could also say mom mentioned, mom told me, comma, quote, uh, mom informed me, or she mentioned, was stated, she answered, is also a possibility. But in all cases, for a direct response, we want direct quotes, okay? So again, this is where your recordings are gonna be very hand, uh, handy if you need to go back to your recordings and see exactly what the interviewee said. Okay, so any questions, guys, about today's activity? The wiki is on week 13 or 12? It's in week 13. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. It's under week 13 under activities. It's called the second uh, second wiki, second uh, personal wiki or something like that. It's underneath week 13. But again, you can move the information. We're basically moving the information from week 12 to week 13 since we're basically extending the activity that we really started last week into week 13. Okay, any other questions? Okay, if there are no more questions, so, I'm gonna, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Do we have to include, like, copy and paste the information that we had in the last wiki to this new wiki? Yes. Mm -hmm. Copy okay. and paste the information from last week or even from yesterday, because a lot of us were working in Microsoft Word yesterday. So probably the information from the Word document that we worked on yesterday is going to have the most current questions that we ended up with. So just copy and paste information from your Word document. If you had, let's say that you, content, you made uh, further changes after yesterday's class, well then just move and, and, and use that, those questions wherever they exist, okay, whether they're in a notebook or you had a separate Word document or whatever the case may be, and bring the most current questions, right? You wanna use only the questions that you used in the interview. Okay, so um, I'm assuming most of you had changes to different questions as we looked at questions yesterday in class. So just include the questions that you included in the interview. Don't include all the questions that you thought about since last week up until now all right so it might make more sense it might be easier just to copy and paste from microsoft word or again the last whatever technology or place that you used or that you kept the questions use those and, and move those questions to 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 this week's wiki okay any other questions Okay, so if there are no more questions, again, I'll go ahead and mute your mic. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, can you check my questions in the Word document? Um, yes, I, I'll tell you what, can you, are you at a computer right now? Yes, but I have to turn on it. Okay, let me, let me check real quick here. Can you check mine too, Ben? Yeah, I think, guys, if um, 
what I would like, can we go ahead and move the questions first to the wiki and then, and then uh, I can check in the, in the wiki? Can we do that? Uh, we have to. Since today's activity, I want you to get into the wiki and be able to access it and be able to go ahead and move those questions into your wiki. So that way we can just work. And, and are all these questions that you guys are asking me to look at, these are questions that you ask, correct? Teacher, so do we have to post the, our questions in the, in the week of week 13? That's correct, yes, week 13. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen again so I can clar clarify this. So hopefully you guys can see my screen. Let me know if you cannot see my screen. All right, so Let me go back to the main page here. All right, so we're in week 13, right? So today is uh, May 19th, we're in week 13. So if we go into week 13 under activities, you'll see a, a wiki called the second interview results, all right? So this is where I would like for all of you to bring those questions wherever they exist, whether if they exist in Microsoft Word document from yesterday, whether they exist in last week's wiki, whether they exist on your notebook in front of you, your physical notebook that you rewrote and made changes to, all right? So wherever they exist, bring those questions into this wiki called the second interview results. So remember the first time that you enter this wiki, just hit create page and this will take you directly to the edit tab under the wiki. So here is where you can add your questions, your direct questions that you ask for each of the inter interviewee. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you ask exactly the same question. So you can just copy and paste all of the questions that you ask for each of the individuals. Mm -hmm. Then you can go back and enter responses. How do they respond? How do they answer? your questions. Whenever you report what they said, you're like, you're basically a reporter now. You're reporting on the questions that you asked and you're reporting on how they responded. We're going to, we're going to write out direct questions and direct responses using direct speech throughout, throughout uh, this exercise, throughout this activity. Okay, so here is where you can bring in your questions. When you have your questions in your wiki and you want me to look at your questions, uh, let me know. I would rather look at your questions in the wiki here, in this wiki called Second Interview Results under week 13. Okay. Okay. Does that uh, answer your questions, guys? Yes. Okay. I'm going to mute my mic. If you guys have other questions, just jump in and ask away. And again, once you have, for, for those of you who are asking for me to look at your questions, as soon as you have them in your wiki, uh, ask me and I'll look at them right now. Okay. Um, yes. Check my question. Please. Okay, sorry, is who's this? Um, check my question. Uh, okay, Marifer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll check it right now.
Okay, uh, Marifer, I was looking at the wiki and I would ask that you upload your questions first to the wiki in week 13. Okay, if you're not sure how to do that, let me go ahead and share my screen. Take a look at my screen. And notice that under week 13, under activities, there's a wiki called Second Interview Results. So if you click on if you click on this link, the first time that you enter, just click create page. And that will take you to your own individual wiki where you can then edit and bring over the questions that you want me to look at. Okay, so go ahead and upload your questions to your wiki. Once you have those, uh, let me know. Okay, and if it's in during class, of course, I'll look at them right now. If it's after class, send me a, a message via chat to take a look at them. Okay. Okay, guys, we're uh, getting ready to kind of wrap up uh, today's session. Try to finish for next class the uh, questions and the responses from your interview. I'm going to go in between that, between today, between right now and our next class. And as I see your questions, I'll be providing uh, comments or feedback in the wiki itself. So remember that within each of your wikis, there's a comment section, and that's where I'm going to leave my, my comments. So check the comments and uh, for next class, we'll continue uh, finishing up this activity and answering any questions that you have about direct questions and direct responses or direct speech. Any questions guys about today's activity? Okay, well, if there are no more uh, questions, uh, we'll go ahead and conclude today's class, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next class tomorrow, and we'll continue with uh, this activity uh, for tomorrow. All right, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.